morning. It's the start of uh, day five, I think it is. And uh, I've gotten up, it's about 6.30, nearly 7 o'clock. And I just wanted to come for a bit of a walk and uh, I'm heading out on the middle of uh, the Googs Lake. So it's pretty spectacular. We camped just on the shoreline of the lake back there. Um, and I'll show you in a sec. Just come in and have a look around. So that is obviously looking east where the sun's rising. Look at it, it goes all the way down there. Beautiful morning, bit of cloud cover. It's um, pretty fresh still. The campground's over there, that's where we camped. I'll just zoom in, see if I can pick up our camp. There we go. The motorbike, a bit wobbly at this far. Yeah, so the camp, it's probably about, yeah, about 400 metres over to there. Also, that was where we came down, that big uh, dune there. And as I said previously, it's really washed out and quite uh, rough. And to uh, save trying to have to go back up that, which I think we could if we if, at a pinch. We've got to see if we can ride along the edge of the uh, lake, all the way along there, along there, because there's another track um, all the way in the distance here, that couple of K away, maybe what, three, four kilometers down there. Um, and there's another campground which is uh, we're hoping is down on the lake and there might be another track up onto the track. If not, we'll just simply uh, come back to this point and we'll, we'll go back up where we came down there because we know that's what it is. I enjoyed the morning walk out here. It's kind of nice, there's no one around. Just yourself, except for the two groovers back there is still asleep. Yeah, it's, it's good from the uh, hustle and bustle of city life to uh, being out here, absolutely no one around and just nothing, there's a Day five, about to begin, packed up camp, and as I said, we're gonna scoot along the lake. Right along the edge of the lake, She's not too deep along here. You can see there's been uh, four drives. There is some wheel tracks here. Hopefully if we just follow these, it'll take us to a track that's uh, not too hard to get out of. Just pumping our uh, Nerbs tires up back then and uh, working on the bike, standing still in the sun. It's uh, already the temperature's creeping up. It's quite warm today. Pretty cool. Uh, the sand and the, I feel like I'm on the beach. Like I can look there at that frontal dune and then I feel like there should be an ocean just there. It's uh, really weird that, you know, I'm hundreds and hundreds of kilometers from the beach and, yeah. Haven't done this before adventuring.
So, we managed to get ourselves bogged. <laughs> Don't tread down in there, that is real soft. All right, let's get out of here. All right. Drive, yeah? Yep. Oh. You ready? And that's one out. Thank you, Brendan. Let's go get the next one. The biggest one. We gotta lift the front wheel out and then we've both gotta push it out. Okay, you ready? Uh, yeah, what are we grabbing from? One, two, three. Oh. <sighs> Whew, I forgot how heavy this thing is. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, mate, do you want to Yep. That wasn't too bad. Oh, good, right. good teamwork. Yeah. So we're on the top of the dune, the lake's on our left, and we're just trying to make it to the track. There was a number of full drive tracks up here, but they were just all circling and not really heading the direction we wanted to go. So we are uh, kind of cutting our own track here and then picking up a track every now and then. Still sandy. We're nearly at the track. Okay, we're back on the main or one of the main tracks through here. We're on the map. We're gonna go right up here. This could be the campground slash monument. I don't know. Definitely a campground. We'll have a chat and work out where we are. And we've arrived at the monument. Oh, we're at the monument now. And this one here is uh, Gug. Obviously S-G-G -G, Gug Denton, the father, who are uh, Pave this track, and then uh, obviously his son over here, Dinger, who uh, helped pave the track. So yeah, quite a nice little monument. You can see where a lot of travellers have left coins and uh, bottles of beer. I guess these two are probably characters and like enjoyed a beer. So cut little rock, little towers over there, and yeah, may they both rest in peace. Thanks for uh, paving a track for us adventure riders to get on full respect and yeah so over there we've got what is it 78 kilometers from here to Mount Fink well the dunes have definitely increased in size uh, on average they're about 12 meters so some are bigger some are smaller again the wheel tracks are hard up against the the scrub so you find yourself your handlebars panties are clipping them and you're just right in the center here it's pretty soft it's, you can see it's rutted out from the four-wheel drives. You just have to keep on the gas. This centre track's not too bad. Oh. It's definitely soft like the Simpson. See the dune up in front, get some speed. It's obviously heavily rutted. Try and pick a line. Whoa. And over we go. Oh yeah. Just gotta do that for another 80k. A bit less actually. 60. It 
lot's different to the Simpson. Um, the Simpson has a uh, oh, has um, turns at the top on some of them, but most of them. Whereas this one's just kind of uh, straight up and over. There's not many, you know, bends or turns in this uh, track as compared to the Simpson. Very similar though. You know, very similar, you just gas it on the flats and power on up the dunes and when you get to the top you can kind of just ease off a bit but keep that front wheel up and go down the other side. Yeah, it's good. You know, average speed, I'm just sitting on about 60, 65k, cruising along, big dune coming up, right hand wheel track looks good, on well, the centre, it's not too bad, you feel the heat of the bike bogged down at work, and uh, we get over it. Over we go. I just stopped and did a bit of filming, sorry boys. Oh no. I've lost <laughs> my jacket, sleeves, jumper, shirt. Oh, I have to go back and get it. All right, I'll take this back. Oh, where is that? At the start. All right. probably notice something a bit different in the front end the uh, windscreens off I've clipped a tree and smashed it and I think it's twisted the, uh, the front end a bit it's a shame I didn't get it on footage so we'll get in the camp and uh, have a look at doing some repairs I've still got it it's cracked it and smashed it you can still use it if I uh, cable tie it on like I got a spare one at home All right, here we go. Continuing on the Googs track. Yeah, so what I was saying, I um, was coming along in this uh, left, so I was having the left hand wheel rut. There was a tree. There was, um, decent enough to uh, clip the uh, left bark buster and then it shot me into a bigger tree which then yeah smashed I would have been going I don't know 50 k an hour and then I've come to a stop but uh, the uh, force of the second trail it's just twisted the uh, the um, frame that's holding all the lights in the front end on so Screens come off, and once we get the camp, we'll have a look at it. Oh, look at that. 
It just keeps going and going. Just like the Simpson. Little baby. It's good, isn't it? It's okay. So we've got about 16 kilometres to go. We're still on the track. That's 16k, 16k to Mount Fink. And we should be able to... I've had a bit of a glimpse and I want to see if we can pick it up with a GoPro when we come over the top of the dune. The dunes have definitely um, gotten smaller. And not as sandy, I guess. It's... Um, a different type of uh, terrain now. It's a bit windier and uh, the clay based track with the sand on top again. There we go. That's our destination. I'm looking forward to it because I'm starting to get tired and when you're tired you make mistakes. One of the uh, fuel bladders on uh, Tom's bike uh, came loose and fell down in the chain, so we lost that. But uh, we haven't got far to go. I don't know if you can see right over there in the distance is um, Mount Fink. And that's where we're going. So the track conditions have changed now. It's um, a bit more rocky and uh, you know, hard dirt kind of thing with uh, the odd smaller dune, which is... You know, up there, so they're definitely not as big. Um, yeah, the bikes are going well, uh, minus my front smashed screen. Um, looking like a mad maxi style bike. <laughs> so we uh, have turned off um, the track and we're heading now to uh, Mount Fink. And uh, it's nice and windy through here and sandy. So we've got seven kilometers to the mount and uh, by the looks of it we're going to have to work for it the whole way. Well this is it, the Mount Fink camping ground. So we'll uh, have a look around and uh, see how close we can get to the mountain. I don't want we're to at Mount Fink campground, which is good. It's even got um, a table and chairs here for us, so that's good for me because I'm going to get to work on my bike at the moment now. So, a couple of little problems. Oh, one problem is the kill switch 
Um, it might have sand or dust in there, but when the bike's on, it's intermittently working and then not working. So I'm going to address that. And then I just want to uh, just fix this up, have a look, and see if I can um, see if we can put the screen back on uh, now that we're stopped here for the night. Apart from that, everything's good. So. Well guys, um, the bike is repaired, which is good, and I'll show you that later on. So I'm happy that we got that done, it's all back together. A little bit of straightening here. Um, the screen's got a couple of cracks in it, but we'll work that out. I'll show you later. Now, we're off on a hike up to a Mount Fink, the one that you would have seen before, and um, I think she's about 360 or something meters. So I'll turn you around, and that's us. Got to hike up there and try and get up there before old mate falls down below the horizon so yep it's pretty big and i'll see you halfway up well we're still going up this mountain on some kind of track and i tell you after a day on the motorbike and now doing doing this it's wearing me out you won't need any gym work no a thousand squats every step here <laughs> but awesome view over there all right we'll keep going all right i'm puffing and we're going straight up this face here and you won't be able to tell how steep it is but down there we'll get away from the wind if i can zoom in somewhere are our bikes i can't see them yet there they are Oh, down there, there's my bike, Tom's nerves, that's the campground, and uh, you can see how far away it is, alright, we're still going, alright, we've made it to, not to the top, just over here, further is the summit of this false Mount Fink and that's this bikes are down there a long way away these are the rocks that people have made down the rocks to uh, indicate this summit but if we look over here so we've got the wind and I zoom in that my friends is Mount Fink Summit. Still going. Put the light on this side. Just about at the top. Another 20 odd meters or so. And we are there. I'll uh, spin you around and show you where we are. Hopefully it's not too windy. Whew. That is a decent walk. The way we went anyway. Yeah, we made it. Then another rock formation over there. A little kind of mark. Ernest Giles Explorer. This pile of rocks was assembled by the explorer Ernest Giles and Jess Young on the 20th of June 1875 during Giles' successful fourth expedition to Perth. Uh, what's that? He first visited Mount Fink on the 3rd of April 1875. That is fantastic. And here I am standing in the same spot. What's that, 140 years later or something? I don't know. I'm tired to do the mass. So he's made these rocks.
that's the other one. Can't see him oh, any further up. That may be where we were. So, oops, so whoa, whoa, whoa. Anyway, that's a long walk. We're here now. Why are we here? Because we can. On top of Mount Thiebaud.